we begin with the passing of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the nation in mourning over the loss of this legendary Supreme Court justice. Crowds gathering throughout the night in our nation's capital to honor Ginsburg, who passed away at the age of 87. Sharing the local connections and the national implications of her death, our Faye Fredericks begins our coverage. She was just the second woman to serve on the U.S. Supreme Court, but Ruth Bader Ginsburg's true legacy may be as the legal architect of the equal rights movement. She's an icon because of she was a pioneer in, in winning women's rights that we all take for granted now, but that were a tough struggle for her for decades. Um, but she was the leader of that. She graduated at the top of her class at Columbia Law School, but former ASU Law School Dean Paul Bender remembers first meeting her as a high school classmate. She's beautiful, and she was very active and involved in things. She was a, really a presence in, in the class especially because she was so smart. Her career began in the 1950s when sexual and racial discrimination were common. At the American Civil Liberties Union, she challenged laws that treated men and women differently in employment, housing, and government benefits. Dennis Burke met her after she was nominated to the high court by President Clinton in 1993. She was extremely polite. <laughs> Burke was a Senate Judiciary Committee staffer then. It was an expression, I think, a reflection of her respect uh, for the system and, and, and how the process worked and the role of the Senate. As a Supreme Court justice, she was best known for writing the far-reaching decision that struck down the Virginia Military Institute's men-only admission policy in 1996, a case argued by her former classmate, Paul Bender. It's a very, very strong opinion. I think it's probably the strongest opinion the court's ever written about why you can't discriminate against women in that way. Small but mighty, she worked throughout cancer treatment in 1999 and again 10 years later, becoming something of a pop culture icon in recent years, the subject of a 2018 documentary, RBG. On social issues like civil rights, abortion, and separation of church and state, Ginsburg was a consistent liberal, yet she won the admiration of many conservatives for her grasp of the law carefully considered opinions and powerful sense of humor. She got along with uh, members of the Senate and her colleagues on the court because she had such a wide array of interests and she also had an ability to enjoy life and joke uh, with anyone regardless of what their judicial persuasion was. Ruth Bader Ginsburg passing at the age of 87.